What's going on YouTube? Ground Chuck here in the Ground Chuck Man Cave. Uh, so yesterday, the game era, baseball's game era committee elected two new people into the Hall of Fame. So one, um, Lee Smith, who re when he retired, here's an auto of Lee Smith that's numbered to 99. I scooped that up a long time ago for like two or three bucks. And here's a 2013 five star. So Lee Smith, when he retired, he was the all-time saves leader. Uh, Well-deserved, uh, making the Hall of Fame. He's th currently third all-time behind Mariano Rivera and and uh, Trevor Hoffman. So, it, I mean, that was a no-brainer. Lee Smith deserved the Hall. So, uh, I'm going to pull those down real quick. But, uh, so, the head-scratcher was Mr. Harold Baines. Now I'm, I've always liked Harold Baines. I, I have a huge PC of Harold Baines. My main guy is Andre Dawson, but I've always liked Harold Baines and just, you know, I, I did. So I, I'm not upset about him making the Hall of Fame, obviously, cause it, it makes my PC more, um, uh, desirable. And his stuff is probably going to take a little spike, not much. But I mean, you could, I, for the last two or three years, I've been picking up Bane stuff cheap as cheap could be. So um, I don't think I ever spent more than $10 on an auto. I think I have nine, so I'm going to go through them real quick uh, just to show you. But here's a uh, Topps Archives, Harold Baines, that's numbered. But I'm not going to get into really too much of them but this is one of my favorites and it's an old peachy buyback here's another uh, archives with the A's this is the uh, this is a stadium club I love those old uniforms so I'm not gonna and this is not the same one this is the black version it's numbered to, to 50 I'm glad that Harold's make that his making the Hall of Fame. I know that there's a lot of people that are upset about it and thinking, well, why? But it's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm happy just because of my somebody that I PC made it. So here's two different ones: the bronze and the silver. So I mean, I I I have my fair share of Harold Bain stuff. This is one of my favorite ones with the butterfly collar. And so I'm going to just go ahead and show, do, do a little Harold Baines rummage. I went through some stuff and uh, pulled some stuff out, just some of my favorites. Obviously, these autos are, those are four of my favorite autos of Harold Baines. He's got a nice, clean signature, too. I mean, it's pretty consistent. So uh, not, not as nice as the Hawks. And he's not anywhere near the Hawks' ability, but I, I do enjoy... And I have enjoyed collecting them over the years. So uh, here's a 94 finest refractors. Try to get, oh, there's a little bit of a shine there. So, and like I said, I've been collecting him for a while and have been able to pick up stuff cheap. A 97 Topps Finest refractor. Shout out to Nate who loves refractors. There's no hulking on those two, thank God. Um, Here's some, here's two uh, museum collections, Starburst. A lot of shine on those from Pinnacle. This is a cool one. This is a, uh, the Cyber Stats from 95 Tops. Because remember that was a strike shortened season. So, I forget which one this one came from. This was, uh, I wanna, not Stadium Club Murphy, but the Dome one. But I just thought the Bash was awesome. It's always just a cool one. In my eyes, uh, a Harold Baines card. Minted in Cooperstown, 98, I believe. So these aren't real common. But like I said, I've been able to uh, pick things up fairly cheap. Here's a odd one that I got real cheap. Uh, it's a blank front of 88 tops. And the tops is just miscut terribly in back. But it's one of my favorites just to have something unique and different. Uh, got a couple of these too. These are from 83 Hostess in Canada. They were Canadian issued, so that's still in the package. Again, this is kind of me being 
crazy on how I uh, store things, but I do it for my purposes. So this is in a small mini, like a tobacco card top loader. So it's slid in there, then it's in a Ultra Pro card saver, and then a team bag on top, so it doesn't go anywhere. So it's pretty cool. That's the way I do things. Um, and then you have the, there's four different versions of this one. I have three of the four. So it's the 1990 Donruss Air with my, so the star has the line through it. And this is one version, and the back says All Star Game Performance. He was a six-time all-star. So there's also one that has that line through the star in recent major league performance. So here's the here's the, a different version. No line through the star. It says recent major league performance. And then here's one. There's the this is the corrected of everything's corrected on it. No line through the star and all-star game performance so uh, just wanted to show that stuff uh, I know I'm not trying to upset anybody but I do collect Hall of Fame autos and so now I'm glad to have Lee Smith and and Harold Baines in my collection as Hall of Famers and autos so uh, go ahead and please comment below and tell me what you think I'm not gonna take offense to anything I knew it was a stretch. Another guy that I hope makes it someday is Omar Vizquel. He's got about 2,800 hits. So, uh, he was. These guys were just consistent players. They were not uh, anybody who uh, were were superstars or anything. They were consistent players. So they're they're getting getting honored as such. So I mean, yeah, Hall of Fame. That's Honestly, never thought Harold would make the Hall of Fame. Was he a great DH? Yes, absolutely. Did he play a lot in the outfield? Not much at all. But he was a consistent player. So you can't fault him for being a DH when the American League has the DH. So he took advantage of that. Same thing with Edgar. I hope Edgar gets in. I hope it's this year. Um, I'm a big Edgar fan. I've been stocking up on his autos because I believe he deserves it too. But uh, So just l let me know what you think. Um, and... I appreciate all your comments and your support. Thanks a lot, guys. YouTube, Ground Chuck out.